ensemble learning from multiple ml models voting averaging and stacking let's see so most of us are familiar with bagging and boosting commonly used forms of ensemble learning examples of which are random forest for bagging which combines typically multiple decision tree models and boosting which tries to reduce the bias by learning a sequence of models typically again decision trees each of which is learning from the outcome of the previous one so what if we want to combine multiple different types of ml models in fact this is a very common strategy in a lot of the online competitions that you see and also in uh, several production systems so how do we do this let's take an example suppose we have a classification problem and suppose we want to learn four different classifiers a logistic regression classifier random forest classifier a support vector classifier and an xg boost classifier each of these might work for different parts of my data well now i want to combine the outcomes of these to get a better outcome a simple way to do this is by voting so for instance i train these classifiers with my training data and then each of these classifiers will give a different prediction given a new data point let's say these predictions are true 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 and false assuming i have a binary classification problem then i can aggregate by voting by taking the majority or the mode of these outcomes and say the answer is true because there are three trues and one false here so what if i have a regression problem i could easily extend this by averaging so i train four different regression models with my training data and given a new point i take the outcome from each of these models and then average the outcome to give the final result prediction so what if i want to go one step further and instead of doing a simple average suppose i want to do a weighted average because i want to give a different weight for each of these models how do i learn these weights so one way is stacking which is building a meta model so for instance if i have a regression problem i can build four different models i can learn four different models from my training data and now i can also learn a meta model where the features of the meta model are the predictions from these different models given the same input point what are the predictions from each of these models that's the features from a meta model and the target variable for my meta model is same as that for each of the individual models of course the original target variable i can also augment this by saying along with giving the predictions of each of these models as features i also give the original features as input features to this meta model the advantage of that is it gives it more context for example for some part of my data suppose model 1 is working well while for another part of my data model 2 is working well so giving the input features enables it to take some context saying okay when the features are like this use model 1 when features are like this more give more weightage to model 2 and so on so that it gives the weightage more meaningfully based on the input features so this can be used for both classification and regression now you can implement this uh, manually that's pretty easy or you can do sklearn.ensemble.stacking classifier so here's a small example from the sklearn documentation in fact so you have like you know you can define a bunch of estimators one is a random forest classifier here and one is a linear svc and you can say you have a stacking classifier that takes as input these different uh, models or estimators and then you say the final estimator is logistic regression that's the meta model and now you do the exact same thing that you usually do and you do uh, like you know a fit with your training data and you can build a meta model this way which will automatically combine the outcomes from all your estimators with their appropriate weights so just to recap what we talked about today we looked at different ways of ensembling bagging and boosting are things that you typically do for instance with random forest and xg boost respectively we also looked at ways to combine different types of ml models through first voting or averaging to do like a simple combination of dissimilar models and then we looked at stacking where we are learning a meta model from the outcomes of multiple different ml uh, models that we trained for a task by giving them different weightage 
So you can also go and look at the SKLearn documentation for more information on this. Thank you.